Prices, exclusions apply. Jake from State Farm here to answer your what ifs. Hi, what if a moose rams my car? File a claim on the app. At State Farm, we're there for your what ifs. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Call or go to statefarm.com for a quote today. Chan Hassan Dinner Theater's gift cards make perfect holiday gifts because everyone loves the gift of live entertainment. Enjoy a lineup of holiday shows, sensational concerts, Stevie Ray's comedy cabaret, or main stage musicals like Footloose, the new Broadway hit The Prom, or Jersey Boys. Used for any current or upcoming show, Chan Hassan gift cards are available in any amount, never expire, and are always the right size and color. Easy too. Order by phone or online. Visit ChanHassanDT.com. Chan Hassan Dinner Theater's always entertaining you. I wanted to know why some people who get COVID-19 get it so bad. I found out it may be because they have a high risk factor, such as heart disease, diabetes, being overweight, smoking, and asthma. Even if symptoms feel mild, these factors can increase your risk of COVID-19 turning severe. So if you're at high risk and test positive, there are things you can do, like asking your healthcare provider if an authorized oral treatment is right for you. Learn about an option at TreatCovid19.com. This message is sponsored by Pfizer. If your pubic region was quote-unquote junk, you wouldn't need America's number one trusted men's grooming brand. But it's not. So show some respect with new Gillette Intimate for a gentle and easy shave. Gillette Intimate, the best a man can get. Buy now at Walmart. This winter, there are new COVID-19 booster shots designed to help protect against recent Omicron variants. If it's been at least two months since your primary series or original booster, schedule your updated COVID-19 booster dose at vaccines.gov. Sponsored by Pfizer and BioNTech. Arthur's Jewelers has more stunning designs of genuine rubies, sapphires, and emeralds, more unique pieces. Get three years with no interest. The Minnesota Wild head to Anaheim. Puck drops at 9 Wednesday on the station for Minnesota Wild Hockey. FM 100.3 KFXN, Minneapolis-St. Paul, The Fan. Controversy afoot on the Power Trip Morning oh. Show on a beautiful, beautiful Tuesday morning this close to Christmas. I hate to hear uh, to have this kind of uh, negativity in the air, but it has to be ironed out. Ladies and gentlemen, on the phone right now is the lovely and talented man nominated eight times as the sexiest lawyer in America. Oh boy. Jeff Lawyer Lambert, Sex Kitten Lambert. Oh my God, that's not his <laughs> that's name. That's not his name. Second. Oh. Okay, he's on. Oh. There you now are. Now I'm on. Hi, Kitty. Oh, good no. morning, Kitty. Lover. How are you doing? I, I'm yeah. really good. I, um, your, your name has been taken into question here on the Power Trip Morning Show this morning. Well, I need a ruling then. I Maybe I misunderstood. I thought when you play second, you you owed nothing. Was that changed for oh, the that girl? Is, that is for second. Yeah, he was second. Oh, yeah, my God. Go. Oh, oh, way to go. Oh, Apologies. Oh, wow. Oh, 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 that's the answer to the question. That's the leaderboard. Yeah, you're right. right. You did finish oh, second. Okay. Yeah, you did. Yeah, Power, trip. Fair. Power Trip Bets tweeted, you get your money back. That Would is you fair, like I mean, your rip, hand. rip Dov all you want. Yeah. Would you like a hat to put that in your hand to apologize to him? <laughs> yeah, I, I feel terrible that I can't believe uh, that it took us this long. Not one person in this yeah, room for us. two weeks said, no, you're right. It's our fault. Yeah, it is Wait your fault. Wait a minute. I didn't know who got second. I, I just knew that you won. I would have. I would have driven down from Mille Lacs to pay you if I owed you. Believe me, but I uh, but I was under the understanding. Hmm. Yep. Yep. Okay. <laughs> no, that is correct. You are you are You're absolutely so right, Jeffrey. correct, Jeff. The Power Trip Morning Show owes you a deep dark apology right now, and I'd give you one and a smooch if you were here in the studio. <laughs> I'd come over for it if I wasn't. Uh, okay. Right. That's all I want for Christmas, buddy. <laughs> all right. Case closed. Happy Christmas. Yeah, Christmas, Merry Holidays, everything. Yep. Good. Thanks, guys. All right, Thanks. Hey, thank you, Jeffrey. Oh, darn, I was going to ask him if the thong I bought him fit. Yeah. <laughs> He's 73. He's 69. How come we don't say happy Christmas um, or merry birthday? You can say whatever you want. <laughs> You can do whatever you want. Now you we're really getting can. into the deep of the weeds on the It'll holiday. It's just be weird. Happy Christmas. I like it. It sounds very English. You say happy Hanukkah. Right. Why you not say Mer- Merry Hanukkah? Why not Merry Hanukkah? I don't know. Um, Why don't we start uh, that? Okay. All right. All right. It's done. No. Uh, it's controversial. No. Very controversial. Yeah, very. Uh, Merry birthday on uh, Sunday, Christmas. Thank you, buddy. I'll be 52, yeah. Rose. 52? 52. 52 years old. Again? I'm old, man. <laughs> You're I'm old. old. I'm O L D. Moving in the prime of your life. Man. I don't know, man. It's weird because uh, uh, as my wife and I were talking about last night, I literally, um, in my brain, am still like thirty. 
Yeah. Oh, I know. It's um, the weirdest thing. I'm like 12 when I come in the studio here in the morning. Yeah, yeah. I hear what yeah. you're, you're saying, but you know what I mean? Like, no, I, I get like, it. I, I can't believe you know, it doesn't compute in my brain. No, it, it won't. And that's a healthy thing. I hope so. It, it is because you want to maintain that uh, childhood innocence. I have no, a, I'm not I childhood, innocent, adolescent. Yeah. yeah, I'm very innocent. innocent. Yeah. yeah. But I think when old people say, like, the best years but, of my life are still ahead, that's what old people tell themselves to convince not. themselves Just that they keep would waking up in the morning. Right, because yeah. you'd rather be 27. No. Yes, of course you would. And feel good, look good. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you what, I'd sure rather you have you my 27 year old body. Right, but, but I wouldn't want my mind to still no, be 27. You want, you want yeah. the wisdom, you want the maturity, you fact, probably I'd want like the about money. Three 27 year old bodies. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> like the Dom triplets. Remember them? Weren't they from here? Yeah. I remember the. Never mind. Whoa, oh, Rosie. Rosie. Whoa, you were going to say you remember them. Wow. Look at Marty. Did, did you ever did you ever meet them? I thought I, I, I could have sworn they showed up in the studio here one time. Rosie. Uh, the, on the power trip? <laughs> well, I don't remember some that. show. I thought they were in in, the, in, the, in this building. That does sound very familiar. One of them or two Rosie. of them. I don't know if all three of them were, but they had a connection here. Obviously, they were from here. <laughs> they're oh now, my they're now 45 years old, born in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Yeah, I think... What's their name? The Dom. Nicole, Dom. Erica, and Jacqueline Dom. The Dom, 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 Dom yeah. Oh, man. They were attractive. Yes, they were. My guess is oh, they wow. still button are. Button bar, button bar, <laughs> button bar. <laughs> They were, were they Playboy? Yeah. 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 Playmate oh, first of a kind. Yep. Playmate centerfolds for the girls of the Big Ten December of 1998. Oh, oh was that what yeah. it was? 98? Big, no. Big Ten. Oh, sorry. Big Ten. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look at me like that, Marnie. I Minnesota's I own. No. Yeah. Mm, from Jordan. Oh, how about, hmm. oh, Marnie I thought they said him. they were from Minnesota. Brilliant. <laughs> oh, one of them. I think we've talked about this best. One of them is married to Dr. Phil's son. Oh, that's right. Is that right? Yeah, oh, Jane. Oh, is that right? <laughs> one of us. Yeah, one of us. All right. Dr. Phil. Um, Erica. Dr. Is Phil. Married to what Dr. a Dr. Phil's son. Uh, by the way, Lee Valsvik is, uh, she has written the questions for In the Box today. Brian Oak will be going In the Box. Oh, so else is going yeah, in the that's box right. Today. That's right. Next segment, right? That's what uh, I told Oak. Oh, did you? Okay, yeah. well then I'll tell you. She wrote Lee. the questions? She did. She's oh. very excited. Lee, la, lee, la, lee, la, lee, la, lee. Hi. It's time for Fan 5, brought to you by Builders and Remodelers. Hey, thanks, Builders and Remodelers. Thank you, Builders and Remodelers. Marnie, let's start with the Wolves. Wolves co-owner A-Rod went Instagram official with his new girlfriend, Jacqueline Cordiero, or Cordero. Ooh. Really? Ooh. So, uh, Rosie, you might be sitting courtside in a... Uh, well, I hope so. Soon. I don't know. She goes by game. Jack. She goes by... Jack, Jacks. Yeah. Jack. Not Jack. Huh. What did you call it? Did you say Jacqueline? Jacqueline. Yep. Jackie? J-A-C-L-Y-N, Jacqueline. Nice girl. Jack, Friendly. Okay. I met her a couple of times. But, yeah, I saw pictures in front of the tree, the holiday tree, and with his uh. daughters. And that's that seems like a big step, especially when you're famous. Mm -hmm. When you go yeah. Instagram Republic. official, that's yeah. Instagram a big deal. official. Yeah. Yeah. So she's been okay. in town a couple times. Yes. The oh, kids, yeah. the kids, I believe, say ship it, right? Like relationship it. They oh. ship it. Yeah. And hockey. So now they've it. been shipped because I think she's a muscly gal. Oh. Uh, she. According to the photos that the, I think it was like Yahoo and ESPN or somebody or CNN had. She's super tone. Muscly is misleading. She doesn't look Not like a bodybuilder. Body she's just I, very, she very does, fit. Yeah. Yeah, but hockey's into muscly gals. I really am. I right. like all gals. She's. <laughs> I, muscly is going to make it sound like A-Rod is... No, I know. Is dating Marty's a blocking me here on the... 900 pounds. I think that's fine, too. Yeah. <laughs> Do anyway. you understand what I'm trying to say here? It's fine. Uh, the yeah. Wolves did win last night, Marnes. 116-106 yeah. over the Mavs. Mm -hmm. How about Nas Reed? 27 points. And I guess missed a three that would have given him a career-high 30. Yeah, his career-high is 29. He had 27 last night, and then... Was it two games ago? Okay, see, I'm losing track of dates. Mm. He had uh, 28. Nas has been really good. He's and he is a skilled player. He just he plays the the role he plays on this team and the minutes that he plays on this team. You just you don't get to see it. You get to to see him in a four or five minute stint here and there. And sometimes he's playing the five or alongside Rudy or Cat and trying to figure out where to fit in. And now he's just it's like the paint is yours, Nas. Go get it. Show us what you can do. And he's so. Quick, and it that's why it looks so different than when Rudy or Carl is out there because they play so differently. Not right, wrong, or otherwise, Corey. I'm not saying we're better without those two because those hmm. two are wonderful players. Max will say it. It's yeah. different. Just Rudy, not Cat. Um, they're just fun on, to watch. They are fun, entertaining to Thanks, watch. And, and watching 
Uh, we were talking uh, dur- during the break. Austin Rivers is a perfect example. A guy who normally would get th- what, three, four minutes of playing time, if that. If that, yeah. He had several uh, knowing DMs. how free he's playing right now, because how many minutes did he play last night? 37. 37. And That's he's, a lot. Uh, yeah, and, he's, and he just feels comfortable because if he, if he misses a shot, he doesn't have to worry about being taken out of the game. And he just, he's got skills still, and, he, and he, he's, he's got a nice leadership quality, and, and it's feeding off everyone else. And it, it's, it's just, but you're right, getting back, Nas Reed's the headliner. He is just. Uh, I mean, I would say Anthony Edwards is well, the headliner. Well, I mean, in terms but... of new, uh, no, I don't, of course. I mean, in terms of players that we don't expect to have that kind of. Yes. Uh, and Anthony Edwards just missed a triple double last night. And then uh, in jest, I want to say question mark, kind of tossed the ball in Coach Finch's direction when he was being taken out, knowing he was going to fall one assist short of a triple double. Again. Big mm-hmm. smile on his face. It was pretty funny. He's the best. Uh, did you guys oh. see in Johnny Athletic's story the gift? That Rudy Gobert gave yeah. everybody. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what you, awesome. What do you give them? More than 450 mm-hmm. Target Center employees, usher, uh, ushers, concession workers, everybody was given a card with a fifty dollar bill in it, a signed card by Rudy Gobert. Nice. Yeah. How cool is that? That's, that's pretty super cool, man. Nice. Yeah. Hawk, isn't your gift for us in your car? Yeah, I got it. It's in the back seat. I keep oh. forgetting to bring it in. Why don't you, well, all why of don't you us? run down and get it now? We'll, yeah, we'll, we'll wait. You know what? I got, I'm right in the middle of the show, oh. and my knees hurt. Well, how about at 9 o'clock? Uh, you know what? Let me remind me. You well, guys remind going. me. Oh, I'm, I promise you I'll remind you. I have like a thing I have to months. go to right away, but so if I forget today, I'll bring it in tomorrow. <laughs> oh, okay. Why don't you just throw me your keys? I'll go get it during the break. Yeah, Zach will um, go get them. Why don't you uh, go ahead and uh, buy yourself a new uh, face? Wow. That's hot. <laughs> That's very nice of Rudy. Yeah. Abbott got all of us Louis Rudy? Vuitton bags. Uh, that'd be great. Yeah, it's not going to happen. He doesn't even know who Louis Vuitton is. No. Oh, you guys have a Christmas Vuitton? party, don't Zero. you? Or a holiday party? No. No. Yes, they were. Oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure there do, is it, one. We do, but it's like the Caddyshack uh, caddy hours at the pool. It's like 1 to 115. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, one of the greatest gifts... I hard can give the power to a morning show is not inviting us to those kind of parties. What right. is it, Rose? The beaver. Oh, it's Mark! A, <coughs> a pelt. Oh, yeah, yeah, of button course. Bar, button bar, button uh, bar. The hey. Wolves are just God, you're horny four today. games out of first <laughs> spot. <laughs> Memphis is 19 right, and 10, uh, but the Wolves are 16 and 15, eighth in the yeah. West. But that's how right now Crazy condensed is. one to eight yeah. is. It's a four game difference between being eighth, like the Wolves, or first, like Memphis. Yeah. And it's important to win games against teams like Dallas, who could be there pressuring you for one of those coveted playoff spots. Dallas does does not look good. Yeah, they remain in town, right? Oof. They got it. They play those yeah, back to yeah. back games, so they're uh, they were they like the way. And they've yeah. been here since Sunday uh, early evening, yeah. and they are here through Wednesday. Yeah, then they'll never but get same, out of here because of the storm. Man, that is true. How, that, wow. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that could be that could be planes, tough. trains, and automobiles. Do we know exactly when the storms start? We sure Tomorrow. do. Eight oh seven p.m. <laughs> uh, Eastern Is it Standard more? Of, I time. I got a couple of daytime things to do on Wednesday before the Wolves game. So early, do it early. Real because question. It's early yeah. afternoon, buddy. Yep. Okay. Early afternoon. So then, those of us who have to drive home after a Wolves game at ten o'clock at night, mm. is that going to be a problem? Aggressive. I want to get a room. Yeah, it's going to oh, be aggressive yeah. tomorrow. Get a room. Uh, this is uh, the day to go shopping. One more thought mm. on the Dom triplets for a second. Yes, Man, go ahead, please. I've never, I've, I've, never, I've never we'll dated see. a twin or a triplet, mainly because they probably would have hated me. But by definition, if you're attracted to one, aren't you attracted to the other two? I'd be. Mm. You're attracted to their minds, yeah, Corey. Yeah, but I'm saying but physically, if they're, uh, even if you can tell the difference, and clearly after a careful while you would be able to careful, tell the difference, careful. but... If I, one of the three is, quote, your type, yes. the other two are also your oh, type. I'm sure they play tricks on their boyfriends. Oh, that'd be a great trick. Oh, <laughs> oh my you got God. Me. You, you got so me again. Horny, <laughs> <laughs> you guys. I can't believe I fell for that. I can't believe it. Oh, oh darn it. No. You made me sleep with all three of you. You what? got me. Oh, damn it. Oh, oh I can't fair. believe no, it. But to your point, Marnes, even God. if you, let's say you, you, you date or marry a triplet and you get to know the two sisters and you're like, God, the other two are just nightmares. They're mean. They're not nice. I would never date them. But you still think they're attractive. They look like your wife. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 I, I'll, that part I can hear. I, that, I'll listen you. to that. Thank yeah. you for listening. Yeah. Did you just... What, what was that noise? Did you go, I wonder how many yeah. times in history yeah. somebody's yeah. been married to a twin or a triplet and then tragically they lose their wife but then fall in love with the twin well you think up the weirdest yeah scenarios. you well, you know what you're like you, agatha yeah. christie cove i don't know, I don't know, know that's happened or I don't how know. often that happens where they 
start dating the other one well, after tragedy. I think Even I saw an episode of Maury like that. that. Especially That's for hard. women, as you become adults, oh. a lot of them don't. <laughs> God, that was, just that was your the mind worst, oh boy. <laughs> craziest time <laughs> of all time. <laughs> just turn so your mic off. So please, just turn Martin's your mic off. Continue, Marty. Take tomorrow <laughs> off. He's in I, vacation mode. He really <laughs> is. He just went, oh. Oh, boy. <laughs> anyway, you were Anyway, saying. my point was, a lot of times, the, oh my God. they'll have a different haircut. A different hair color, <laughs> okay. you know, a different clothing style. But it looks like in my Google search of these triplets <laughs> that they have chosen You're to right. Just continue give it up, Marty. to same look makeup, like each other, oil. dress yeah, like each other, same hairstyle. Yeah. And maybe that's part of a marketing For plan. Sure. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, hockey, I just wonder what yeah. hockey yeah. Chris thinks Hansen about wants this. to talk to hockey. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you take a seat? Uh, yeah, earlier Martin's... he said all he had in his car was condoms and vodka. <laughs> yeah, he yeah. would definitely belong on Dateline. <laughs> yeah, uh, vodka. Just say, when, you're, when you're going through your little thing again, don't ever say, I wonder if they have the same haircuts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that got him. You tipped uh, him over. Oh, oh, boy. This God. is the worst transition ever, but in the box is next. <laughs> <laughs> KFAN Total Traffic. From the Quick Trip Traffic Center, I'm Chris Addison. Here's a look at the roads. Looks like we have a rollover crash. This one is on eastbound Highway 212 near Highway 41. That is down in the right ditch area. Eastbound 494 Pilot Knob Road. Got a crash off on the right shoulder, slowing things down a bit as you approach there. South 35W County Road I. Spin out crash off to the side, back of things up to 95th Avenue. That's traffic on the fan. This report is sponsored by Lowe's. At Lowe's, every pro is an MVP to us. MVP Pro Reward members visit Lowe's and earn bonus points on products and brands like Power Pro. Then redeem for Lowe's e-gift cards and more. Offer valid through one eight twenty three. Points calculated before taxes and fees. Expires twelve thirty one twenty three. Well, meets us. This is our last Walzer Nissan commercial on the fan. Then we're off for two months. Gonna be weird for sure. Well, it's been a great year, Doug. Walzer Nissan and Coon Rapids Nissan are in first and second place again, which is pretty impressive. I think people really like the Walzer way of negotiation. Free purchasing. Yeah, the free 10-year, 150,000-mile powertrain warranty certainly doesn't hurt either, but you're the real star. Couldn't have done it without you. Oh, man, now I'm choking up. All right, sorry, Mr. Sensitive. Read this. Walzer Burnsville Nissan and Walzer Coon Rapids Nissan have the largest inventory of brand new Nissan Rogues that we've had all year. We have 250 Rogues available for the month of December. The Rogue is a perfect Minnesota vehicle, great on gas, and with all-wheel drive, they are virtually unstoppable. In addition to our great pricing, we have a loyalty offer. If you own a Nissan, it's worth an extra $500 as a loyalty bonus. You don't even have to trade. Yeah, on top of that, qualified buyers can receive 2.59% financing for 36 months. Happy trails, my friend. 612, The Bird. Trust is earned and couldn't be more important when you have a house project. With over 13,000 reviews online and a 4.8 on Google, you can trust Early Bird Electric. Early Bird is the troubleshooting expert, your go-to for small projects like adding an outlet or big remodels and rewiring. And yes, Early Bird offers same-day service and 24-7 emergency service. Mention the fan and your trip charge is free with repair purchase. 612, The Bird. Call 612, The Bird or visit 612thebird.com. Hey, it's Chris Hockey, the Power Trip Morning Show. I know you've always wanted a Jeep Wrangler. I love my Gladiator, and I love Park Jeep in Burnsville. You got to check out the all new 4xEs with both electric and gas motors. The Wrangler 4xE and Grand Cherokee 4xE have incredible horsepower and maximum torque. And see, that's the thing nobody has more 4xEs than Park Jeep. Plus, take advantage of a $7,500 federal tax credit, but it expires on December 31st. So get to the big finish sales event at Park Chrysler Jeep in Burnsville online at parkjeep.com. Hey, it's John Creasel. I know what it's like to be injured at work. You need Gretchen Hall. She's a former insurance defense attorney, so she knows both sides of the table and can help you get the compensation that you deserve. Check out ghallaw.com. ghallaw.com with three L's in a row. ghallaw.com and tell them Creasel sent you. Are you looking to unwind or tackle some of that holiday stress? Or perhaps handle some of that holiday shopping? Shop cbdistillery.com right now, where you can get up to 20% off CB Distillery products. It's the sale of the season at cbdistillery.com. I wanted to know why some people who get COVID-19 get it so bad. I found out it may be because they have a high risk factor, such as heart disease, diabetes, being overweight, smoking, and asthma. Even if symptoms feel mild, these factors can increase your risk of COVID-19 turning severe. 
So if you're at high risk and test positive, there are things you can do, like asking your health care provider if an authorized oral treatment is right for you. Learn about an option at TreatCovid19.com. This message is sponsored by Pfizer. Well, meets us. This is our last Walzer Nissan commercial on the fan. Then we're off for two months. Going to be weird for sure. Well, it's been a great year, Doug. Walzer Nissan and Coon Rapids Nissan are in first and second place again, which is pretty impressive. I think people really like the Walzer way of negotiation, free purchasing. Yeah, the free 10-year, 150,000-mile powertrain warranty certainly doesn't hurt either. But you're the real star. Couldn't have done it without you. Oh. Man, now I'm choking up. All right, sorry, Mr. Sensitive. Read this. Walzer Burnsville Nissan and Walzer Coon Rapids Nissan have the largest inventory of brand new Nissan Rogues that we've had all year. We have 250 Rogues available for the month of December. The Rogue is a perfect Minnesota vehicle, great on gas, and with all-wheel drive, they are virtually unstoppable. In addition to our great pricing, we have a loyalty offer. If you own a Nissan, it's worth an extra $500 as a loyalty bonus, you don't even have to trade. Yeah, on top of that, qualified buyers can receive 2.59% financing for 36 months. Happy trails, my friend. A gift of fine jewelry from Shane Company will be treasured forever. From the Evans Transportation Weather Center. This report is sponsored by your next job at Emerson. Want to earn up to a $5,000 signing bonus and receive great benefits? Emerson is hiring production assemblers for all shifts in the Twin Cities. Visit emerson.com slash production career Careers MSP to apply today. That's emerson.com slash production careers MSP. Fan forecast. It's going to be cold today. High of four. Dropping on to minus eight. You're listening to the fan. Burr. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the show Marnie Galarnar, Mark hi, hi. Rosen. And leave Valsvik. All right, where the hell is Oak, though? He has been hidden away. He passed. He has been he hidden away. Uh, Zach hid him somewhere. Oh, yeah. Here, Martin, share well, we a may mic never see him again. Good point. I probably should have thought about it before awesome. I had him be the one that hid him away. So uh, Zach, na, 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 na. Zach is in control of Brian Oak. Yeah, is that right? Uh, Zach, are you back yet? Yes. Okay, he has been hidden away, where right? Is, uh, where's but Brian? Does Oak know where this he is? is. Right. But do you know where he is? Ah, good point. I know where he is. Okay. Uh, Hi, Lee. Hi, right, Mark. Lee, you wrote these questions. Yes, she I did. did. And, I did. And it was a great idea. And that's that's why, I, I mean, yeah. I, she came up with this concept. I thought, man, that's a great point. So she's going to do it all and herself. Brian Oak has no idea no what idea. the that's theme right. is. That's right. Happy Hanukkah, by the way. Oh, thank you. Merry Hanukkah. Merry, Merry Hanukkah. Hanukkah. That's yeah. what I, I went to high school Happy Christmas. Yeah. Oh. I should have added one of those, but I didn't. So did you write these questions specifically for Brian, or did you not know nope. who was? Okay. They're all... About Christmas. Oh, yes, they are. And not just Christmas. You know, Christmas Cool 108 and everything. Yeah. Oh, that's not right. just that's Christmas, mostly about TV shows, movie culture. Oh, culture, yeah. culture Christmas. Okay. This is going to be great. That? All right, okay. so we all throw in 50 bucks. We yep. all Can guess I how many. Bri yeah, if you want. Um, if you'd like to, I'm I'm sure in. You we want it. your money. Um, and then we all guess how many Brian Oak will get. It doesn't matter which ones. We just have to guess the number but, that he will get. But, but will Brian know? Um, the winners get all of the money. If there's more than one winner, they split the pot. If nobody guesses the right answer, then no money is exchanged. Let's so there can be an right anti-sweat. Marnes has had a good year at this game. She wins more often than She's the rest good of us. Are so right, you ready for ready. number one? Yeah, let's go. Okay, in Home Alone, we've all seen it, right? This of course. Is easy. Where are the Mccallisters going on their vacation when they leave Kevin behind? France. The France. first one? Can you say Paris or France? Do you want Paris or France? Yeah. Okay, either one. I'd I'll say take either, either one, one, right? I don't know if I'd get that. It doesn't matter whether doesn't you matter. get it. Yeah. We don't know what Oaks, Oaks the music guy. Okay, I'm, I'd get this one. What's the name of Rudolph's girlfriend? I have no idea. Uh, isn't it Clarice? It is Clarice, that is? yeah. Very Clarice. Good. She uh, also is the Clarice. Uh, Chris, I think you'd get every lamb. one of these. I'm going to be very close. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you told us it was Karen yesterday. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> she is kind of. By the way, I tested Max. Acting. He, he knows nothing like a, about yeah, Christmas. She, she no. quizzed me in all ways. It's his got birthday. Zero. Okay, here's one. Who wrote? Christmas doesn't come from a store. Maybe Christmas, perhaps, means a bit more. Let's a little Soyce. bit more. What? what? That's Doctor Soyce. Yeah, it is Doctor Soyce. Really? Yep. Yeah, he the wrote Grinch, the right? line for the Grinch. Yeah, yeah. Oak's gonna be the Grinch. Best. But does he? You know, yeah. does Brian know? Yeah. Does Brian know this? Question. In um, Frosty the Snowman. This is number four. 
Max, you listening? I'm listening. <laughs> What's the name of the little girl Frosty takes with oh, him man, on I'd the be, train oh, to the North Pole? Oh, oh. You told me yesterday, and I still oh, don't know. Just, oh. That is Karen. He just said Karen. it. Oh, that, that was Karen. Karen. She was a Karen. Yeah, that is Karen. That's I right. Mean, she's Karen. Yeah. But Poor will girl. Oki know? Yeah. According to the song, what did my true love give to me on the eighth day of Christmas? Oh boy, you got to go through the whole Isn't list. It, I'm uh, hoping you'd all eight, set four eight. calling birds. No. Four no. French hens. Two, two no. turtle. It, no. Is it uh, two hookers? Is it eight dog triplets? It's the drop dog triplets. Lords of Leaping. No. <laughs> well done. He's coming. Seven. Eleven pipers piping. Ten lords of Leaping. Eleven. Nine ladies Sorry. dancing. Eight. Sorry. Yes. Maids are milking. Oh Maids God! Yeah. I'm milking. I did that one for a Just stop at eight. Rosie, what did she say? Yeah, what, what's the answer, Rose? What's the answer? I didn't hear it. I'm not giving you another button Okay, bar. back to Rudolph the <laughs> yeah, Red-Nosed Reindeer. What is wrong with the toy train on the Island of Misfits square, Toys? Square it's got wheels. square wheels. Yep, it's caboose. It's got square wheels, but we'll just take square wheels. Yeah. Square yeah, wheels. Yeah, Hockey's been in a train. Okay, the only one I who like can get this, train. I think, is Hawk. But in the movie Elf, what was the first rule of the Code of Elves? Huh. Um, Make it, every day like Christmas. Wow. Don't tell anybody about fun. I would like take Christmas. that. Treat Make every day, day like yeah. Christmas. Yeah, that's it. Wow, look at you, Zach. Wow, these are tough. Yeah, two, <laughs> by the way, <laughs> there's room for everyone on the nice list, and then the best way to spread, Christ spread, spread Christmas cheers is singing, singing loud, loud for, for all, all to hear. hear. Yes, yes. In a Christmas story, when Ralphie tells his mom, uh, his teacher, and Santa what he wants, the Red Rider air rifle for Christmas. What line does everyone use to discourage him? You'll shoot, shoot your, your eye out. out. Very good. How, 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 how exact does awful. it have to be? Like if he says... <laughs> shoot your eye out. Okay. Yeah, yeah. If he says put your eye out... It's shoot. It's an object. Okay, it's a so gun. It has to be exact? Yeah. Okay. Shoot. Shoot say your shoot. eye out. It has to be yeah, shoot, shoot your eye out. out, kid. Yeah, exactly. Uh -huh. In okay. National Lampoon's this is number nine. Christmas Vacation, mm -hmm. what did Clark receive as his Christmas bonus? Uh, jelly of the Month. Jelly of the Month. Club, yeah. 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 One year and membership. Jelly of the Month Club, right? That's yep. the gift that keeps on giving. A <laughs> great visual scene. And God, number 10. Just classic. Last one. What is the name of the Grinch's dog? Max. 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 Wow, these are tough. They are tough. So everybody I don't lock know if Brian Oaks... Oh, man. I everybody know. lock in. Everybody lock in. Uh, I am locked. I'm locked as well. Again, you cannot change okay. your answer. I'm locked. I'm locked. It's only locked. 50 bucks this time around, yeah, right? 50 bucks. 50 Can't bucks. change your answer. Rosie, you. three. Oh, Ooh, wow. wow. No faith out of Rosie. No. Sauce. Wow. Five. I go up with my own. I have five. Sauce says I five. Brian Marns. knows everything about music. Wish. I don't know if he... I, I don't know if he knows pop culture and this movies. Tough. and. I'm going to go too. Wow! wow. Whoa, God, see, I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna have faith again. Can I go? Yeah. What do you got? Lee? Six. Wow. We are all over the board, though, because I, I have you. four. So so far, we have two through six. Hawk. I have five. Hawk has wow, five. You're Zach. All covered. One. Whoa! Oh, well, thank you, you for Max? your fifty dollars. Um, I had four. Four for Max. Wow. What? So, should we say you yet? Or no? I, I said five. five. Yeah, yeah. So okay. we have one through one, six. One, two, three, five. four, four, five, Somebody's going to win. Well, five, maybe six. he'll get seven, eight, or eight. He might wow. get all of them. I think some be, of these are too hard yeah. for him. They are they're tough. I'll go get them. You guys all did very well, He's going to get so mad. He did very yeah, well. Yeah, he will. He'll be very upset. Yeah. No, he that. will not. No, it's a good thing. I want him to be. I want him to accuse somebody else of cheating. Where is he? He's coming. Okay. That's private. Stop it. Merry Christmas to everybody, too. Oh, and Christmas yeah, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Wait, did you listen to the Power Trip Morning Show version of uh, the Christmas School mm -hmm. that happened on Sunday? Yeah, hockey I missed a couple do. of hours. Uh, I couldn't was shopping. I was shopping, and then, and then Corey had to leave to go do his shopping. <laughs> well, yeah. Corey just bought Corey. I thought you guys were great. There he is. We did phenomenal. Oh, oh I got to hide my thingies here. Wow. <laughs> did Hawkman show up again this year? He did not. He no, was told he was never told to come back. I didn't think I heard <laughs> him. He he's, a, he's, a, he's on probation. He was banned. We're too close to school for him to be here. Oak. Remember, I didn't do these. All okay, I then. care about is that Max has very warm ears. These headphones are hot right now. Yeah, man. Well, let me tell you what. No wonder the ladies love Max. What well, media makes your ears warm? warm ears. Oh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> Just get them out of here. Okay, remember, you have to say final answer. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Final answer. Levy, go ahead. All right, oh. you ready? Number one. Oh. 
in Home Alone. By the way, there's a theme to this. They're all Christmas. They're all Christmas questions. Oh, and now you know that I adore Christmas like you do. As long as they're all Christmas music so, questions, I'll be fine. Home no, Alone. not music. Who's ever seen Home Alone? All Everyone. of us. Everyone. Donald Trump's final answer. Oh, Again, no. I know that was a joke. Oh, that was a joke. God, that was a joke. I know. Was a joke. No. But he knows not that's a question. Not a very funny one. Oh, no. Okay, in Home Alone, the original. Where are the McAllisters going on vacation when they leave Kevin behind? Ah, uh, it's Europe. Ah, uh, f- f- Lux. No. Um, Estonia. No. France. Final answer. Whoa! He was teasing us. Yeah, you are he correct. Was. He, he, he was again. Teasing. I can't stand that movie. I think it's terrible, it's and phenomenal. I know that's going it, to. No, it's awful. Uh, it's unwatchably no. bad. No, that's, um, leave the room. No, that's the such second an awful one. Is unwatchable. You sound like people who like no. the movie Goonies too. The all right. Goonies. Yes! That's one of the greatest no, movies Goody ever. Sucks. Have a holly jolly Christmas. Yes. No, I have seen you, it. You've seen like two Goody seconds sucks. of it. The Goody Goody is one of the greatest movies of all time. That's why Sauce and I are yes. connected yes. at the... Yeah, a couple of idiots. <laughs> okay, settle Whoa. down. Now we're going to go to Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. I'm ready. What's the name of his girlfriend? She thinks I'm cute. Jeez. Have the reindeer stopped screaming, Clarice? Final oh, answer. Man. Man. Uh, wow. Oh, wow. my. I mean, wow. you're, you're hitting me in my childhood right here. So, of uh, course, yeah. I mean, they, these make sense. Finally, I feel like a friend of the morning show. Look at oh. you. Well, you just said Goody really sucks, so you're off my list. <laughs> no, well, you're, I, you're not Let's be honest, on Corey. List. Corey, let's be honest. I was off your list a long time <laughs> no, ago. No, I like you. Okay, number three. <laughs> Who wrote, Christmas doesn't come from a store. Maybe Christmas perhaps means a little bit more. Little Cindy Lou Who, who is no more than two? Dr. Seuss, final answer. My God. <laughs> my God. My God. That's this is my favorite time Unbelievable. of year. Unbelievable. You, you, oh, are, you are putting... Here's a tough one, though. Are you ready? I'm ready. Number four. In Frosty the Snowman. Uh-oh. Yeah, see? Oh, no. What's the name of the little girl Frosty takes with him on the train to the North Pole? Couldn't ask me about the magician. Couldn't ask me about Santa showing up. The rabbit up. was Hocus Pocus. Oh, what is her name? I... <sighs> oh, come on. Uh, what do you mean, oh, come on? Let's be honest also, though. Frosty, one of the weaker holiday specials. Oh, right? I, agree. I agree with you on that. Right. I mean, I mean, again, I, again, I'm cool with it, and no, I watch Jimmy it every Durante. year. I don't, I don't know. Um, Cindy, final answer. She was a Karen. Of course she was. Although, <laughs> the, the, of course, the coolest Karen... That we've ever met. Yeah. Other than Karen Carpenter. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> Number five. According to a song, <laughs> what did my true love give to me on the eighth day of Christmas? Now, <laughs> I'm going to try this. To I know, you guys. I know this song really, really well. And I'm not sure of all the things I enjoy about Christmas that I would really like. Uh, the maids are fine, but the fact that they brought along eight cows to milk, I'm not really down with. I'm going to go eight maids of milking, yeah. final wow. answer. Unbelievable. Oh, man. Wow. Oh. And by the wow. way, they didn't bring any cows. Right. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, oh, whoa, we, whoa. We, we don't have a cow. <laughs> I, so I've tuned into this show about a half dozen times this morning, and you guys all need to check yourself before you get yourself on Santa's naughty yeah. list. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, like, I don't know where, I don't know where the guesses are at. Are, are we still in right a now. sweat? Or is anybody eliminated? Well, we're are we good? early for that. But yeah. okay. okay. All right. Like all right. I said earlier, Rosie had all right. the $50 all right. very good. Very good. cash I got, in his I got hand after hand the second answer. Ready. Give it to someone. Like I said, I did that also, once. Also, like, I mean, like five golden rings. That sounds awesome. Eight maids of milking, ten lords of leaping. I think we could probably all do without that. That's my guess. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You're wow. Shocked. You're sh- okay, you're shocking back me. to Rudolph, the red-nosed reindeer. Oh, no. What is wrong with the toy train on the Island of Misfit Toys? Nobody wants a Charlie in the box. Um... Again, you're right in my wheelhouse. It has square wheels. Wow. Man. Wow. Final, answer? Final answer. Wow. Holy okay. man. That's five out of six. The yeah. squirt gun That's shoots stable. jelly, sure which does. also, by the way, sounds like a better version than a regular squirt gun. If you're you a happy camper meaning. right now, are you? you? I love this time of year so much, Lee. I cannot tell you. Even though I have only bought three holiday presents, and my oh entire my day today is going to be a complete grind, and I'm going to be sweating it all day long. I love this time of year. I okay. love it. Number seven. Do you like the movie Elf? What was the first rule of the Code of Elves? 
So it's weird. It's almost like we collaborated on this beforehand. We did not. Uh, uh, no, I, no, I love holiday out. movies. I watched the old 1951 Alistair Sims version of Scrooge the, Scrooge the other day. Oh, My favorite of all time. Elf is the greatest holiday movie of the modern era, and it's to treat every day like it was oh Christmas. Oh my goodness! Final answer. Wow. Ooh, Do you know what two and three are? That's Maybe six. no one will get. I no. I, okay. I, I again, I don't go very because why? After you've done that, what else do you have to do? There's room for everyone seven. on the nice list and the best way to spread Number Christmas cheer. Number eight in a Christmas story when Ralphie tells his mom, teacher, and mm. Santa about the Red Rider air rifle. What line does everyone use to discourage him? Again, not one of my favorite holiday movies, but when he gets kicked in the face and goes down the slide, you're going to put your eye out. Final answer. Is no. That See, I, no, that's correct. Yes. Okay. Asked before. It's a yeah. gun. It's a gun. And that's not what they say. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Then let me rehear the question. Well, that is what they say. Okay. Yeah. Well, well, we talked about shoot it. Your eye out. But he, he said, said put, put your, your eye, eye out. out. Oh. That's why. I, that's oh, exactly uh, what uh, I asked Again, a classic him. Tarkington <laughs> sauce. <laughs> right. Once so again, you, you and I are being laid on the yeah. sacrificial altar yeah. during this pagan ritual yeah. Yeah. because of these Visigoths. But we understand the what real he, meaning I mean, of Christmas. What he said. Fine. What whatever. Said. Whatever. I'm okay. I, I don't care. Take it away from him. Take the point away. I don't give a. I mean, did, you, did you make your decision about your on that? stupid no, it's show? It's not up to me. I'm just saying that's why I I, I asked yeah. beforehand. Nice what shoot. do we do with if he says put your eye out? And that's exactly nope. what he said. It's technically wrong, and so okay, let's go ahead go. and give us the beep or the buzz right. or the okay. whatever. Right. Sorry. We whatever you that. hateful <laughs> goblins do around here during <laughs> this otherwise blessed I season. Asked, what was the line? Six out of eight. And shoot is the main part of the line. Okay. Fine. All right. You know. In National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, what did he receive as a Christmas bonus? Oh, it was a gift certificate to a. Give me two seconds. No da, way. Da, 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 it was a gift gift. I, I uh, a gift certificate to a Christmas buffet. Final answer. He doesn't know. Oh, oh, that's no. awesome. Jelly of the month club. Jelly of the month club, and we have a sweat. Wow. Wow. How many more do we have to go? One. One more. Also, another well below par holiday movie. Oh, oh, Garbage. How many does he have? He's got six. I love it when he's emptying the gray water out of the RV no. in the front of the house, but it's just not that funny. Yes, it I is. Don't yes, know, it is. Margo. It's, it's a it's a classic film. It's last better than one. Christmas Come on, story. let's do this. Last one. What Here is we the go. name of the Grinch's dog? Oh, it starts with a B. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Um. Fred, final answer. Oh so it, 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 I can't Lee, believe Lee it. wins all the money Lee based on oh put your money. I thought it's for sure you'd get Max. It's Max, right? Oh it is my Max. God. So wait a minute. Lee wrote the questions. Yeah, I know. And won the money. Yeah. And no How? one no one had more than six. So if you had got if we had given you yeah. put your eye out, no one would have won. No one wins money. Oh, but wow. we talked about well, it. Well, luckily, ahead of time. there's a, what I love about this show is wow. the pedanting nature of it. Like, um, what does that mean? It, well, what it means is Tarkington instead of Tarkington, right. and shoot your eye out but versus put line. your eye out. It was the line that yeah. they all said. Oh, right? I'm sorry, I didn't realize we were all working at TMC <laughs> and we were all Hollywood archivists. <laughs> Fabulous! I'm so sorry you that I missed. Great. I'm sorry that I missed the real you meaning of really Christmas. You Man. jerk Six water! Out of 10. You know what else is great is after amazing. I leave here, I'm going immediately over to KDWB, which tells me this time of year everyone's out of town, and we're doing a little bit of a scrape on the bottom of the barrel to see what we can get left out of <laughs> out of 2022. And I really appreciate you making me part of this. Embarrassing excursion! Wow. That being, said, that being said, that being said, I want to leave one last thing with you. Yeah. If the warmth of the hearth is not filling you with what you need this year. Let the warmth of your own heart and those around you fill you with what you need. And I hope you have the greatest Christmas ever. Oh, well, that was very sweet. Final oh, answer. Oh, can I leave you with Bitches. one that was very sweet? <laughs> uh, we'll leave you with this. But the worst thing I ever done. Horrible film. I mixed up all this fake puke at home. And then I went to this movie theater, hid the puke in my jacket. Climbed up to the balcony, and then, then I made a noise like this. <laughs> is, that, is, is that from Gremlins? <laughs> <laughs> and, and then I dumped it over the side. I oh, had all the people in the audience. Then, 
then this was horrible. All the people started getting sick and throwing up all over each other. I never felt so bad in my entire life. Starting to like this kid. I like this kid. Two two hundred years from now, I will be found on the right side of history. No chance. That's an unwatchably. And I I just got back from Oregon. I am. I am from Oregon. I love that place. I just hate all the screaming children. One final segment of the Power Trip. Want to join us on the main? In three quarters. They did what? And the Minnesota Vikings have completed the greatest comeback in the history of the National Football League. A reminder to never turn off the Minnesota Vikings on FM 100.3 KFAN. We all have our own styles, but whoever you are, two simple shots this winter can unite us in protecting ourselves and each other. Schedule your flu shot and updated COVID-19 booster in the same visit. It's a safe and convenient way to be protected against flu and COVID-19 for the holiday season. Double up and band together to protect each other. To schedule your flu shot and COVID-19 booster today, talk to your doctor or local pharmacy or visit mdhflu.com. This holiday ad will be over in 27 seconds. Unlike the new Duracell battery with power boost ingredients that can last 19,976 seconds in your kid's RC motorcycle, or 6,801 seconds on your beard trimmer for this year's family photo, or 15,172 seconds on your electric frother for some holiday eggnog, and many more seconds to get more out of your holiday season. Duracell, unlike this ad, engineered for more. Looking for holiday gifts that won't be re-gifted? Head to eBay Motors. With millions of parts and accessories at the right prices, there's something for every car lover on your list. And with the money you save, you can pick up something for yourself, too. Happy holidays, indeed. eBayMotors.com. Let's ride. Let me guess, you haven't found that special holiday gift yet. Great, because Hellsberg Diamonds has incredible last-minute savings. Get her a gift you know she'll love. Diamonds. Half-carat total weight studs for just three hundred ninety nine. Ninety-nine. That's a savings of $300. And with a qualifying purchase, get up to $500 American Express gift card. Hurry, these can't-miss savings are almost gone. Hellsberg Diamonds, five locations throughout the Twin Cities, limited time offer. What's worse than calling your groin your junk? Treating it like junk. Respect your pubic region with Gillette Intimate. Gentle and easy pubic hair care from America's number one trusted men's grooming brand. Gillette, the best a man can get. Buy now at Walmart. Ugh, holiday shopping is exhausting. I had like 30 stores already. You? I went to Verizon. Oh, and? And that's it. Seriously? Seriously. I got the new iPhone 14 Pro on Verizon in stock now. Plus more Apple gifts like Apple Watch SE, iPad, and Beats Fit Pro. Also on Verizon. A value of up to $1,900. Seriously? Seriously. The iPhone 14 Pro is perfect for my daughter. Its new Pro camera system takes amazing pictures, even in low light. She's gonna love it. So who gets the Apple gifts? Oh, the Apple gifts? I'm keeping those for myself. Can Kind of like a finder's fee? <laughs> More like a holiday miracle. Hmm, seriously. Get to your Verizon store for their best deal of the year. Act now. This offer ends soon. A service plan is required for gifts. 5G phone. Up to $999.99 device payment purchase or full retail purchase with newer upgrade smartphone line required. Less up to $1,000 trade in promo credit applied over 36 months. 0% APR. Additional terms and conditions apply. Visit Verizon.com for offer details. Up to $1,900 value based on iPhone, Apple Watch, iPad, and Beats. Break and Bourbon in Eden Prairie is now open. I repeat, Break and Bourbon, the craft bar and eatery is now open in Eden Prairie. Whether it is for their tastefully wicked libations fit for any drinker or a simple bourbon on the rocks, Break and Bourbon is an elevated eatery that believes in the freshest domestic and imported ingredients. We are foodies, and at Brick and Bourbon, we believe that you should know what you are eating, and you deserve exceptional hospitality during your visit with us. Locations in Eden Prairie, Maple Grove, Stillwater, and St. Cloud. Brick and Bourbon. What's going on, everybody? It's Ben Lieber here for Evans. Is your organization looking for a trusted logistics partner? Visit evanstrans.com right now to learn about the Evans experience. They call it the EX. This means they're always looking out for their clients, providing strategic solutions that balance Balance cost, service, and sustainability, meaning they care about you and your business. Visit evanstrans.com right now to chat with a company that is still a people first business. Think about it. It's trucking. When you're dealing with a trucker, you need a caring human being on the other end of the line. And that's Evans, evanstrans.com, evanstrans.com. I wanted to know why some people who get COVID 19 get it so bad. I found out it may be because they have a high risk factor, such as heart disease, diabetes 
being overweight, smoking, and asthma. Even if symptoms feel mild, these factors can increase your risk of COVID-19 turning severe. So if you're at high risk and test positive, there are things you can do, like asking your healthcare provider if an authorized oral treatment is right for you. Learn about an option at treatcovid19.com. This message is sponsored by Pfizer. Nordo here for Gem Sleep, G-E-M Sleep. And it's the gift-giving season, right? Well, if you snore or have trouble sleeping restfully, treat yourself to an at-home sleep study from Gem Sleep. With sleep apnea, it can take months of appointments and a lab sleep study just to get diagnosed. But months become weeks with Gem, a fast expert diagnosis and options to fix it too, whether it's a CPAP machine or a dental device. Get your at-home sleep study today at mygemsleep.com slash Nordo, mygemsleep.com slash Nordo. And use my code Nordo20 for 20 bucks off any service at Gem Sleep. Arthur's has the top gift this year, lab-grown diamond jewelry. It's priced right, and you get really big looks for your money. You're listening live to The Power Trip on iHeartRadio and FM 100.3 KFAN, The Fan. Hi, welcome back to The Power Trip Morning Show. Hi, Daddy. One final segment. After the uh, catastrophe that was Zach in the Box... (laughs) I'm so disappointed. I know. Me too. Yeah. Me too. I thought nobody was going to have to pay. I'm super disappointed about that, but I'm even more so disappointed about his Goonies take. It's yep. just, yep. it's egregious. You know whose favorite film of all time the Goonies is? Your dad. Gabe Henderson. Really? He's on the phone right now. Gabe. Punch him up for me. We'll be right there. Uh-oh. Hi, Gabe. What up? How we doing? Have you God, seen the really Goonies? Well. Say it one more time. Have you seen the Goonies? The movie. I unfortunately I have not seen the Goonies in the way um, Chris just promo this segment. I feel like that's something I need to add to my list tonight. Yeah, yeah. You need you need yeah, well, tonight, maybe just not, watch Elf. What, what year were you uh, were you born, Gabe? Uh, you said what year? Or what what, yeah, what year? Yeah, yeah, what year were you born? What year? Oh man, uh, nineteen ninety one. Oh my oh, God, he's oh. a baby. Hmm. Going to be ridiculous oh, around here. Nineteen ninety one. Yep. Uh, Gabe, uh, yeah. uh, thank you for holding for so long. We're sorry we had a very extended uh, game of Zach in the Box there. So um, uh, just number one, a- any injury updates that we maybe don't know about yet, but because you're an insider, you do know about? Yeah, I think the only big one is uh, Garrett Bradbury. I think um, the, the staff is trying to figure out, do you play him? Do you, do you rest him since he's made the playoffs? Um, I know he's starting to recover. Um, he probably could have played last week, but just, you know, basically off of, you know, just precautionary reasons, the Vikings held him out. So it, it's, it's starting to be a, an ongoing topic with, you know, everything going on. It's like, okay, you know, with this Bradbury situation, do we play him? But you have all these other guys that are either nicked up or, you know, um, a little banged up, but they're healthy and they, they can play Sunday or Saturday. But we already clinched the division. So how does that fit with mm-hmm. the grand scheme of getting to that ultimate goal? You think some of these players will be on a so-called pitch count, though? I mean, even the starters, like guys that probably could use a little break here and there is Darius Smith or Daniil. I mean, a few guys that could go maybe be a little bit more interchangeable that KOC would want to give more more of a break during the game, if you know what I mean. Yeah, absolutely. I, I do think, you know, just for Zadarius in particular, they, they are already on a pitch count, him and Daniil with mm-hmm. uh, DJ Wanham and Patrick Jones. I feel like that, you know, I think it's like every four or five plays. I feel like it may be, you know, every three plays this game. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah they'll, they'll be out there, but it, it won't be as much. And then for Eric Kendricks, I mean, we, we've seen um, Brian Asamoah get subbed in a lot. And um, Eric, you know, was banged up last week, but the fact that he was able to finish the game, it's like, hey, we don't really need that much out of you, you know, going forward until we get to the playoffs. So, so rest up. But I do think uh, this Vikings team is still trying to win games at this point of the season. Uh, Gabe, yesterday you were just talking about everybody's asked you about it with the uh, resting the players. That KOC uh, press conferences before the news of Jalen Hurts came out that he might miss a few games. If the number one seed is up for grabs, they're going to play every game, right? Yeah, um, but I would I would say I mean this is just my personal opinion. You know, if if the Eagles win, you know, this week with Gardner Minshew and we win against the Giants, why should we play all of our starters against the Green Bay Packers if we know we're not going to get that one seed? Yeah. I, I do think we should, you know, at least play the majority of the starters, if not all, for the majority of this game. See how to play since we'll you know we won't know that the outcome of the Eagles game. But yeah, um, if, if the number one seed is up for grabs. Why not go for it? But I wouldn't lose sleep over. You you definitely want to, you know, see how, you know, I guess some of the bottom teams, that wild card, you know, the five, six, and seven, Washington, New York Giants, Seahawks, how, how that'll play out before, 
you know, you start resting players for, you know, a majority of a game. Uh, this news just broke. Uh, the Vikings have signed Josh Rosen to their practice squad. All right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I'm, I'm son, literally reading that. As yeah, I'm just reading it down, too. Seven. Wow. Well, that's because okay, well, we, we lost the other kid to San Francisco or someplace, yeah. right? David Blau. Yeah. David Blau, yeah, yeah. David Blau went to the uh, Cardinals. Oh, he did. So, yeah. Okay. Um, right. yeah. we, got a, we got a Cardinals quarterback in return, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Man, he was the 10th overall draft pick. I Think know, about I, that. Man, I know. Man. You never know. Yeah, I mean, I, I think he just adds a little bit, you know, more value in that, in that, um, in the locker room and in the, in the meeting room, helps help Kirk Cousins see things from a different perspective. Um, I think Nick Mullins, um, just from being inside of the building, I just talked to him after the game, and he was just talking about how he's grown just helping Kirk. So um, maybe, maybe this is, a, you know, another step in the right direction for Kirk Cousins. Um, he, in my opinion, he's having his best year of football. The stats mm-hmm. may not show, uh, but these backup quarterbacks, uh, they, they do play a, a huge advantage in the, the development of your starting quarterback. Gabe, I know the uh, the tendency in, in the NFL is we – we move on, and we're, we're next up, and we're, we're diving into this next opponent. We dissect yeah. what the game's going to look like. But yeah. given what happened in the last Vikings game, I'm wondering just your coworkers and people you've seen around the facility, what are the conversations still like about people trying to process everything that happened in that game against the Colts? Yeah, I, I, I would put it just in a, um, I, I read Chandon Sullivan's tweet a couple of weeks ago and he says he's never seen an ugly, he's, he's never seen a win he did not like. And, uh, and I feel like that's the, the vibe around the organization is like, yeah, there are some things that we need to fix, but at the end of the day, we know that we can win. I mean, this is, we've been asking for our team to, you know, put our foot in someone's throat and, you know, win a game convincingly. Well, if you just put that second half, and uh, in context, well, if you put that as a full game, mm-hmm. like we won, what, 33 to three, like that, uh, we can do it. Like our offense, mm-hmm. defense, and special teams can do it. It's just the fact of, can we put it all together and make a complete game uh, behind it? But uh, Marty, I-, I was about to come come speak to you last night. I was at the Timberwolves game and uh, oh, yeah. I was about to come see hey, you. Were, you were so busy. And I was like, you know, that this is a conversation we need to have on the power trip. So mm. no, I, I, Last night was uh, was 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 a fun game, but at the same time, this Vikings team, uh, they 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 have to figure it out and um, hopefully put all three phases of the, the game together and uh, uh, win some games convincingly. Uh, what's the uh, fun in that? The yeah, Rosie. there's no fun in that. Gabe, for God's sakes, go watch the Goonies and quit complaining. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Gabe. Take care, Gabe. Thank you. He's on the Mark Rosen show, yeah. show on Sunday mornings with Mark Rosen. Except it'll be Saturday morning this week. It's it's on Saturday this week. So Nine thirty to on eleven. Saturday mornings with Mark Rosen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. And what channel is that yeah. on? That would be Fox Nine. And nationally, it's on. Uh, uh, it's on uh, every Skinamax. YouTube. Uh, Skinamax, uh, <laughs> Cinemax. Uh, <laughs> oh, love, love you, Rosie. Glad you're back. Um, love it. Love you guys. Love you, Marns. I won't see you guys until after the holiday. So, uh, oh, uh, happy holiday, Merry, Merry Christmas. Merry birthday, you guys. Yeah. happy yeah. Christmas. Huh? You guys are the Have greatest gift week. I could ever ask for. Oh. A friend. Rosie, we'll see you kid. tomorrow. Um, yes, sir. Marns, we'll see you Friday for initials. I'll be here. Right, the king's not going to be here. You got, a, you got a chance. I'm the king. We're back tomorrow, 5.30 until 9. Go watch the Goonies. See you tomorrow.